This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hi and welcome to the show Eye to Eye. Today we have a very different guest. Zara Hatke hai wo. Uh, well, the media claims that she does, uh, she's a thinking actress, she does very uh, arty films, she's a feminist and a whole lot of labels. So today let's find out who she really is. Hi Nandita, welcome to our show. Thank you. So Nandita, uh, tell us about where it all started. Where did your journey of becoming an actress really start? Well, I mean, after six years of acting, if I still have to say where it all started, um, I mean, I was expecting that in this show with you around, there would be slightly more different questions. So, uh, do you have something else to ask? Because I just think I've gone horse answering the same thing, how it all began, how I did fire. So I'm a little bored of that. Do you think you could ask me something else just to keep us both interested? <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe I should ask something else, but um, well, do you want to start with uh, where you're now? Shall we go backwards? <laughs> yeah, why not? I, I think it, it would be more interesting and more relevant. Um, at present, actually, I've got my finger in lots of pies. I'm, I'm an actress, so I'm trying to finish a film, a Tamil film with Mr. Mamuti in Kerala. Um, I'm also concerned with some issues, so I'm also connected to some of them. Uh, you know, the rise of communalism in the country, which is something really close to my heart, and one has been trying to, um, you know, register protests and support people who have been in the field, uh, issues of women and children. And uh, also my husband and I, we have set up a little company called Leapfrog, which is going to do communication work for the development sector. So I'm in the thick of trying to direct a small little 60 second film on education. Wow, so you're going to be a director. So do we understand that you're going to leave acting and get into direction full time? Why does everything have to be an either or or? I mean, why can't things be together? Uh, you know, always we are put into these labels and always the questions are, so you're not doing this and you're going to do this, so you're going to leave acting. I never said I was going to leave acting. In fact, I said that I have my fingers in different pies and I don't see why directing something small cannot go hand in hand with acting. So it's not that I'm going to leave acting, it's just that direction has always fascinated me. And uh, also some of these social issues which are of concern, it's like marriage of two interests, marriage of two skills maybe a little bit, and, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. In fact, we did, uh, my husband and I, we did our first film on rainwater harvesting. And uh, while it was very stressful during the shoot, it was also a very big high. We really enjoyed doing it. Okay, so this brings us to uh, the husband and I, which is the marriage. So would you like to tell us a little bit about uh, some personal details as to how you met, how you got married, how is it to be married, are you still acting, I mean, are you going to continue acting, what is the relationship like, do you guys fight or do you always have fun together? Um, throw us a little personal light now. You know, to be honest, while I understand that it's your job to ask these questions and probably the viewer does want to know about it, but I think every person has a right to have a private life. The minute you say, can I ask some personal questions, the, the answer should already be no. So I'm not going to get into the personal details. It's a very precious relationship for me. Nothing, there's nothing really to hide, but uh, there's nothing to proclaim either. No, sorry, I completely respect that and I think uh, I will now stick to professional questions. Uh, so tell me what kind of films do you watch and do you like the kind of work that you do? Uh, do you like, uh, do you, you also do re uh, regional films, so is it that you don't like Hindi films? So what's the deal? Well, I mean Hindi is just a language, so it's not like I don't want to do Hindi films. If you mean the more mainstream films, the more commercial films, uh, I have again gone hoarse saying that there is nothing which is called an art film or a commercial film or at least let's say that the line between them is blurring very fast. So it's just that I want to do films that I can relate to, films that make sense to me. It could be a fun film, it could be a thriller, it could be an emotional film, it could be a film about an issue. Uh, all these labels that you talked about in the beginning, uh, these are labels put by people like you. I mean, otherwise one is just trying to live and do the kind of work one likes. So it, it's not against anything. I mean, also doing regional films, I think there are so many different languages, there are so, many, so much of talent everywhere in the country, so why stick to just doing Hindi? Also, I enjoy learning languages, so it's great fun to be able to travel to different parts of the country, to be in different milieu, to be in different units, to be different people. 
and uh, to speak different languages. That's so there's no real reason. And uh, um, as far as the question you said that what kind of films do I watch? To be honest, I don't watch too many films. I have not really in that sense grown on films. Um, in my growing up years, the forms of entertainment were always at home, like going to a music concert or a dance program or, a, or an exhibition. I guess because uh, both my parents were in the field of art. My mother is a writer though and my father is a painter and I barely remember going to any film with them together, you know, I mean, I don't remember going to any Hindi film and I used to watch mostly films in festivals and often that is said that, oh my God, you're so pompous, you watch, you know, you only watch these festival films. But I think there is enough space for all of us and we should really live and let live. There are some people who eat that and some people who eat this, some people who watch this kind of film and some people who watch that. So, uh, so one is not trying to be pompous. No, I completely understand. I don't think we should, you know, label people and club it and, but sometimes there is no time to really know a person well enough. So that's why it just makes things easier to label and say, okay, let's forget about them. Um, now tell us that, um, I've read somewhere that acting is not your true calling. So what is your true calling? Well, yes, I did say that acting is not my true calling because it's not something that, that either I was very ambitious about or always wanted to do. Um, acting was something that really happened by default and uh, I still haven't found my true calling. I think if I would have, then I wouldn't be still acting. Uh, also, there is a sense of dissatisfaction uh, with the work I've done. Not to say that some of them have been great experiences and some of the films have been very powerful films. But if you ask me what's my favorite film, you know, I really wouldn't be able to point out that one experience which has been very special in terms of both its process and end. So maybe somewhere the actress in me is saying that let there be one really good film that I truly can think of and f get a smile on my face or think of it as something that I truly am proud of. Maybe when that happens, uh, you know, I'll move on or maybe I will, when I find my true calling, acting will automatically go away or maybe I'll find something that I really want to do and will do even lesser work in acting. So I'm not really planning my life too much ahead, just taking each step as it comes. But it seems like a bit of a contradiction. I mean, you know, you don't, you, it, in various interviews, one keeps reading that you don't like this about uh, the film industry, you, it's not your true calling, you'd like to do something else, you're concerned about various things, so why don't you just go ahead and do it? I mean, what's stopping you? I've asked this question to myself, it's surprising that you ask me this, that I often tell myself that why am I still here? Why haven't I left it? Uh, just to set the records right, it's not that I hate acting, I think it also has a you know, a nice side of meeting various people. I've made some wonderful friends over the years. I've gained some very special experiences, not just in the shoot, but some of the films have been uh, changing experiences in my life. I think after doing films like Fire and Bavandar and Earth, um, you know, I've gone through a whole process of being sensitized as a human being. So I'm not sort of denying and saying that somebody is holding me back and I, I want to get out of it. I very much take the responsibility of whatever I'm doing on myself. I am doing what I like and uh, it's part of the baggage that comes with being an actress. And that's something I'm trying to minimize and uh, try and find a way where you can truly be yourself, where you're not constantly justifying and being answerable why you're wearing this, whom you're with, why did you do this film, why did you not do this film. All that does get a bit tiring and takes up a lot of time. So um, trust me, in a couple of years, you'll, you'll see a different me.